I'm Sophia Shadowhunter, and today I'm doing my book review on The Breath of Scandal by Sandra Brown. I love this book. I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars, and it took me about 5 days to read it. I probably could have read it a little faster, but every day I probably read about 130 to 140 pages. I could not put it down. It was so good. She's the first book I read by her, and she's written several books. She is the best selling author in the New York Times for selling list, and she's written over 60 books. So I plan to read a, a good amount of her books. I don't know if I'll read all of them, but I do own another book of her book called Low Pressure, which I'll probably read in the next couple of months. So this is about a book. When I got it, I had no idea it was going to be like this, but it was a good surprise, and I enjoyed it. So the main character, her name is Jade Sperry, and she has an alter life experience, a life-altering experience, and in her last year of high school, and it shapes and changes the way she lives her life and what she tries to do with her life. And then um, in the second middle part of the book, in the ending, there is another set of characters that you meet. You're like, wait, where do these people come from? And you find out that as the book goes along, they end up meeting um, be involved with the other characters, and I love that because for me, if any book or series, TV show, whatever does that, it is amazing. It takes a great talent to be able to have three different sets of characters, or even just two, that mingle and connect, and at the end of the story come together like that. I just think that's an amazing talent to be able to do. I hope one day I'll be able to do that somehow. In one of my books, if my books would be a good suit for that. I don't know if it necessarily would be, but maybe it would in the future. I think that just takes so much art and elegance and I love that about it. And I love the characters. You fall in love with the characters. You hate some of the characters, but it just grips you and you just don't want to put it down. So it was so great. If you read this book or any books, let me know what you guys saw them because I would love to know. And then the other part about this was the was the romance part of it. I do not like romance, but in this book, it helps alters and changes how this person lives because she is sexually, um, she is abused sexually when she is in her last year of high school, and it changes how she doesn't, she doesn't want to be involved with men at all. She doesn't hate them, she just, she has been, her life has been completely altered by this. Um, she tries to go on to college and move on with her life with her mother just kicking her out of the house and not wanting to do with her. Um, she was just living with her mom. Her dad died, supposedly by suicide. But it was a really interesting book. And just to see the love of the different characters and how it can change someone's life and how it changed hers, but how she became a better person because of it, unlike the other ones whose life ended short or lives were completely ruined. Um, she did want to take revenge on one of the families because she goes back to her old town and that's when she meets some of the men and the boys who, had, who attacked her when she was younger and she wants to try to wreak havoc on their lives because they're their fathers is what let them get away with what they did to her. So she was living with this for all of her life um, and she does have a child and she keeps it and she raises it as her own and it really helps turn her into a better person from her circumstances. This was a horrible, sad book, but it's also really engrossing and entertaining. And it was just the perfect, I thought it was gonna be more of a thriller. It was a thriller, but it wasn't really a detective novel. Which that's what I thought it was gonna be, and it wasn't, but I still really enjoyed it. So again, let me guys know if you read this book and what you thought about it. And if you read any of her books that I should check out, let me know. I'll see you guys next time with another video. Bye.